Hello. It's been a while since we've used the van. It's been like 12 days. 12 days ago, we come back from Exmouth and Dartmoor and parked it up and what with work and being tired and be horrible evenings and that, we just haven't got a chance to use it. So we're gonna go out in it today, but before we do that, Jackie wanted some of those little storage nets attached to different parts of long, along the back of the van, like so she can put her iPad and her phone in that in, which is brilliant. I'm always reluctant to screw things. <laughs> <laughs> screw things to the van because I mean if, you know if you screw it there and then you change your mind or it don't work or it breaks you're left with holes so anyway I'm going to come and put some of these little storage nets on the on the panels and that but like every little DIY job no matter how small it is you've got to get in their shed and get out all the relevant tools I mean I brought this big boy here I've got a drill in it brought a screwdriver I had to make sure I got the right drill bits and we've got all the nets here, these things, to screw on. And uh, tape measure. <laughs> so even the smallest of jobs means going through the toolbox and dragging all your bits and bobs out and seeing what you can do. So yeah, I've always reluctant. I don't know. I used to make like, you know, I, I spent like 10 years making kitchen and bedroom units in a workshop and that, and I've made furniture at home and, you know, I've built bookcases and wardrobes and that, but that, that was going back about 10 years ago. And uh, I don't know whether I've just lost confidence or what, or whether I'm just lazy and can't be bothered. No, it's all right. I do enjoy things once I get stuck into it. Um, it's just getting stuck into it, isn't it? Anyway, let's get these blinking things. Where is it? There's one. Let's get these things on and uh, see where we go from there. So there's all me bits and bobs spread out, as you can see. So I'm thinking I'll put one up there, or down there, should I say. And then I'll probably put another one up there. And obviously I can't put one there, but I could put one up there for Jackie. Then I might have one over here for myself, put my iPad in or something. But Jackie wants all the stories so she can have most of them. Let's see how we go. Let's see if I can get them on straight without getting them all bleeding wonky. Right, here's the scary bit. Here goes the first hole. Oh, my brand new van. One bite. Right. That's the first hole. Now let's see if it fits. Where's me screws? I'm gonna put the first one in and then I can wiggle it around and mark up, mark up the rest of them. Now if I've made it too big, <laughs> what a wally. Oh God, not very long. Here we go. Come on. This is Jackie wanting me to drill holes in our brand new van. Come on. Come on, in you go. Where is it? Oh boy, there he is. Come on, in he goes. Atta boy. Right. Are you tightening up nicely? There, that's the first one. Now you're all gonna tell me it's not straight. Let's get some more rolls, get some more screws, and get the rest of them up. I got the first one on. <laughs> um, like with everything, I'll take things out of the packet and I'll, I'll look at everything 99.9%, .9%, but that one's fine, no problem. No problem with any of them, really. But I've noticed they come with these little hook things. I just, I knew there was a hook, but I just thought it was for putting up around the room somewhere like that. So couldn't use one on that one anyway, because uh, obviously he's down low. But the one I'm putting up there, they got these little, little cutouts in the bottom of these things. And you slip that into it, like so. Ah, you slip them into it, there you go. And that'll come in handy because Jackie can hang a t-shirt. She, she'll hang anything up on that. If she, she'll hang the dog on that if, if it means she can use it. And there you go. <laughs> My first little <laughs> bit of DIY in the van. And there's three on the back there for Jackie because she got more crap than me. And there was another one. So I thought, you know what? I'll stick in there. I can put my phone in it then at night time because I always put my phone like miles away because there's nowhere to put it in it. And then, I don't know, it's just good to have your phone there because you've got a light if you want to grab it, you just want to check the time or something. They're mini computers, aren't they? You can put your iPad there, like, you know, where I could watch a film through it. <laughs> have to <laughs> watch it through the slats. It'd be like watching it through bars in prison, wouldn't it? We're back in the bus again, <laughs> heading out. <laughs> 
Where's Daisy? Where's Daisy? <gasps> Daisy ain't been in the bus for like, what's that? How many days? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve days, something like that. Twelve days. She misses the van too. You ready and raring to go, Jack? <laughs> Say something amazing. Well, oh. <laughs> <laughs> is is that all you can come up with? It's amazing. When, when, when the camera's not switched on, she's chewing my ear off like that. Constantly, 24 seven. As soon as you put the camera on now, look. It's silent. I'm gonna put cameras up around the house and then she'll never nag me again. Right, we're ready to roll. Drive, brake on, and brake off. I it's like, I haven't driven it for like so many days. It's like, I've forgotten how to drive it. Arm brakes off, bloody idiot, arm brakes off. Honestly, people think I've never driven in my life. It's like a bloody driving lesson. Thing is, because like the arm brake, all the controls are different than what I got in my car. So in my car, it's got an electronic arm brake under the dash, but I don't use it half of the time because it just comes on and off all by itself. But half the time, I jump in my car and I'm going down there looking for a bloody handbrake that don't exist. Or I'm reaching for all the gear sticks. It's like there, but then it's there. I don't know. We'll get there. I seen that lady just now when I was walking back up because I forgot something. Move. Chat. What are you doing, Carl? <laughs> Bloody having a meltdown. I don't want to make me seat lower. And I thought I had two controls. What to make it go out? Oh, what's that? There we go. See if my seat goes down. That's right down. That's right down. <laughs> <laughs> That's right down. Oh my god. Is that down enough? Maybe I want to lift my back up slightly. Just because I can feel the front of the seat catching under the backs of my legs. Ah, who's that? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, that's like an ejector seat. I'm gonna end up going through the windscreen. Down a bit more. How's that? What electric seats. How'd you get on? I don't know, it might be in the same place. Well, I might have lifted my ass up a bit. We'll see. Let's continue with the invent. Let's continue with the adventure. Right, come see, on then. See you, bud. We just rocked up at Princeton. I got a lovely little shop there, Princeton Stores. Just parked over here. Saves going in that car park around the back and risk getting a ticket. And you can see where we are back at our regular place. Yes, there's the chippy. I'm so predictable, <laughs> but I like what I like. And who's there? There's the missus. It's a bit like deja vu here, isn't it? <laughs> Fish and chips on the moors again. Jackie's got her fish cake and chips and Daisy, well, I bought her an extra battered sausage. I, just in case she wasted it, I just chopped a bit off and chopped it up and put it down. But she seems to be getting on well with it. Let's see how she's doing there. Are you getting on with that battered sausage, Daisy? Oh, look at her. She's enjoying that. I'll chop the other half up in a minute. Maybe I'll save it until when we finish because we all know she likes to eat with us and again after us. And this one here, she just likes to eat all the time, doesn't you? Oh, I know yeah. the salt is the salt clogged because oh, it's is it? yeah it's been in the van a bit of condensation. Oh, I'm going to have to get some in pokey down the hole. You can do that. You're I'll sort. That. I'll sort it out. <laughs> hey, see, are you beautiful? <laughs> You've been looking at me for ages when I was eating my dinner, Daisy. You beautiful girl. Sorry, I just couldn't resist capturing <laughs> your gorgeousness because you were looking at me, just leering at me while we were while I was eating my dinner. And I don't think you were doing it to be rude. I think you were just doing it because you were happy because you haven't been in the van for 12 days. You all right, Carl? Yes, I'm fabulous, thank you. I've got to go and turn the gas on in the gas locker. So what I normally do is use my keys. Oh, there's my keys. And so half of the time I forget my keys. I walk all the way around the back to turn the gas on and then realize I've left the keys in the car because I need that little baby 
to open the gas locker because obviously when you're driving you've got to turn the gas off just in case anything horrible happens and last thing you want is gas leaking out blah 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 so anyway there's a lovely gentleman on a facebook page that i'm a part of which is for everybody with these auto trail exhibition exhibition expedition everyone with auto trail expedition vans and a guy on there called david lovely fella he actually makes these on his on his 3D printer. I did mention them last week, and then I've since spoken to him and ordered a set. And they are little gas locker knobs. Ooh, yeah. That's amazing. Gas locker knobs. So they're gonna be brilliant now because I can just pop them in. So they're gonna be brilliant now because I can just pop them in on, on the gas locker. Just pop them over it if you can see and then they'll be there all the time and i won't have to worry about forgetting my key especially when it's raining and i run round to turn the gas on i realize i ain't got the keys got to run back again then go and i get drenched so thank you david these Wait. are going to be amazing i'm going to put them on now oh do you keep them on there you keep them on you just go pop pop if they're loose i was wondering how tight they would be but he's obviously made them right i haven't i haven't tried them yet but if they were a bit slack i'd just put something sticky on it not like super glue but just a bit of silicon or something just to keep them there but i'm sure they'll be fine i'm going to try them now and it's windy yeah. and it's rainy Ooh. and everything like that and i can't be bothered mm. to put my coat on so i'm just going to do oh, it Carl. no because y'all can have a rub down with a warm towel when i come back <laughs> Right, it's an auto trail expedition. So, try to do this with one hand. Let's Good go. Luck. Let's go exploring. Good luck, chap. Thanks, love. Oh. Whoa! It's, as usual, it's bloody windy out here. Oh, the bloody door's locked. Jack, I pressed the wrong button. Have you? I don't know. No. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> I didn't bring the keys with me and the doors was locked. Right, so. As you, well. <laughs> oh, she started loading up her um, little whatnots that I put in this morning. Is there another whatnot up there? There's another whatnot. Nothing in that yet. And there's the gas locker. And here's one of the knobs. And it just goes on like that. Yay! Oh, amazing. There's one. Who's that? Hello, Jack. And then there's another. Go on, boy, on you go. Oh, they fit. Absolutely. He knows his stuff. He knows his stuff, does that, Dave? And then you just do that. Oh, this is incredible. Makes life so much simpler. Look at that. And I've never really told you about these gas bottles properly because they, I think I have in dribs and drabs. When I first had it done, they just put one in because they said they couldn't fit two, but everyone else on the planet could fit two. So eventually I went back and said, look, everybody else fits two. I says, I want another one. If you can't, I'll take it elsewhere. So they fitted a second one, which is that one there. So that one there is empty. <laughs> because it ran out at the end of the night last time I went out. But this one here, and the gas tap points to the rear, which is like, oh, I've got to try and get my hand in now. Can't even see it because it's right at the back. So I've got to try and get my hand back there to open it. So I'm going to turn this off for a second. Well, that's the gas on. I think I've dislocated my bloody shoulder trying to turn that one on. And try my knobs again. Look at that. Amazing. Fantastic. Now I've got to remember to shut the right door first because I shut the wrong one one day and I finally discovered what that's for because I shut the other one first and then I slammed it down and fortunately that buffer stopped. If not, that little beauty there might have done some damage on a brand new van. So yeah, do it in the right order. That one followed by that one. And as usual, it's blowing a bloody gale. Always blowing a gale out here. Well, it is, because we only got the van in September and the weather's been <laughs> more rubbish than good since we got it. But we don't care, because we got the van. Hang on, I don't want to stand in any water. Where's me van? There he is. There's old William. I thought someone was in my driving seat, but it's me coat. 
that my mate Phil gave me. And I'll tell you what, it's the best coat I've ever had in my life. Thanks, Phil. Let's get in. Oh, Mooney. You right, dog? Yeah. <laughs> you right, my beautiful? Yeah. That's Daisy. Right, what I'm doing now is, I've got a box with all our stash in it in the cupboard. I can't remember what's in it. Oh, it's not that much. I thought it was better than that. Look, I just found this. Look, what we got? Cheddars. All right, cheddars, they're all right. Here we go. Yay. Dairy milk, fruit and nut. That's for you. Thank you, you. Lion bar. That's for all of us. And obviously you can't be forgetting a nice bag of Bombay mix. You can keep that. <laughs> There we go. That'll keep us going. That was worth opening, wasn't it? Because I literally could not remember any of it. Any of it at all. <laughs> Don't even know why I'm doing that. I'm going to edit it out anyway. <laughs> Someone is really enjoying looking out of that window. She's been staring, oh, she's been looking out that window for about 10 minutes, taking it all in. And as soon as I put the camera on her, she lays down again. Go and have a look out the window, Daisy. Keep an eye on things for me. Good girl. There she is again. What is it? Were you watching, Daisy? You love looking out that window, don't you? That's your window to the outside world. I bet there's not much, it's really taking your eye that is. Oh, and every time I speak to you, what's she even looking at? What's over there? And really, what is it? She just looks like looking outside. She just likes looking outside and I don't blame her. Again, uh, we've ran out of gas. So we've, uh, we, we scrapped the moors and we went around to visit our little man, Theodore. And now we're heading over to, is it Carkeel Roundabout? Is it Carkeel Roundabout? I think it is. And over in Silver Ash to try and get some gas. So we done it again. We ran out of gas on the moors. So uh, we sort of like packed up, went round our daughters to see our grandson and our daughter, of course, see little man. And now we're heading towards um, well, we've just got over the Tamar Bridge, so we're heading towards Parkhill Roundabout to top up with the gas, and then, I don't know, we might get a bit of Mackey's or a bit of KFC, and then eat it somewhere or take it home, see what we feel like. So, yeah, we've just come through so out under the tunnel, and we're going to hang a left here. I thought that petrol station was closed then, but no, it's on. That one's straight in front of us, the Shell one. We're going to go in there and fill up with gas. Do you want to get out and film me filling up with gas, Jack? I keep needing to film, to film me, but we never get round to it. Do you think you can make it? No, on what the hell? What? Oh, you can still get in. <laughs> I thought they were digging it all up. Let's get some LPG. Mm. I've got to pull right forward because it's right at the end and my bloody lead, the lead won't reach out. There, that'll do. Right, push the no nozzle over the lugs on the vehicle's filler valve, turn the barrel 90 degrees clockwise, which is bop. Keep both hands away from the barrel pull the trigger pull the barrel back but simply push and hold the button until right i kind of know how to do it but i keep getting it ass about tech so let's get down it's so low down i've got a nail on the bloody floor oh it's wet carl it's too freaking low i wish they put it up high literally i've got to get on all fours that's ridiculous oh, no, that's ridiculous right where's the plugs there right it's right, kind of gonna get wet degrees and then, and that's not work. Right, let's try it again. I, I really always struggle with this. The job is not a fanny like me. I wouldn't do that. 
like that one. Turn it 90 degrees. Aha! Ooh. It's doing something. Now let's try it. Not I would never get on the floor. I'm not doing that. That's dirty, that's dirty and that's wet. Get that as well. Sorry, but I'm not kitted out for that sort of thing. Which it costs to fill up two bottles. Only little bottles, so it won't cost much. Do they fill up both bottles? It fills both at the same Well, yeah, because at the same it, time. It only costs four quid to fill one, four and a half quid to fill one, so I'm bound to be on two. And they're both empty, look at that. There we go, 980. Nine pound eighty mm -hmm. to fill up two bottles. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's it. Piece of piss. Oops. Bug at that. Ooh. Well, that's the easiest bit because I've read the instructions. I've always struggled with this. Well, that's what you got it for. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, that was the easiest it's ever been because I read the instructions, so I wasn't relying on my memory, which is absolutely shocking because I remember nothing. Wow, because you can read. I can read. I can't remember. <laughs> exactly. That's why the instructions are there. That's why the instructions <laughs> are there, yeah. Let's go find something to eat, yeah? Yeah. Do you need your phone? Oh, yeah. Back in We're back in Plymouth. We're back in Plymouth. We're back in Plymouth. I've got me gas. We've come back over the Tamar Bridge, and because we thought there might have been a KFC over round, so asked there might be, but we couldn't find it, and we couldn't be asked to look. So we're going back to Plymouth because we know there's one there. We got our KFC, and it looks like I'm going to have to share it with Daisy because Jackie's in the powder room doing powder and stuff. Oh, here she comes. You decided to join us, Jackie? You're very lucky because me and Daisy was almost going to eat it all ourselves. Well, wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> I think I could manage. Well, I couldn't eat all of that. Even I would pop. All right, Jackie. Should we show them our feast? Mm -hmm. This is our feast. I don't. We won't eat all the chicken. I went a bit overboard on the chicken, but anything left, we can have it tomorrow for a snack don't when we come home that. from work. Yeah, but you always eat it when I comes home from when we comes home from work, though, don't you? All the leftovers. You do. Spoil my teeth. All of it still don't stop you from eating it. It's called pukta's. Pukta snacks. I've dished up our feast. We're going to tuck in now. I do love a bit of KFC. Well, I love a bit of everything, but I must have been. I am quite partial to KFC. I'm going to say happy birth week to both of us. Jackie's birthday was on the 7th of November. Mine's on the 23rd. So we can actually say this can be the official end of Jackie's birthday. This is our last birth Ooh. week or birth fortnight meal, whatever you want to call it. And it can be the beginning of my birth oh. week meal because my birthday's on Thursday and we're working every day. So here we go. Happy birth month. Happy birth month to the two of us. What are you looking at me for? I know what you're thinking. I know you're looking at me thinking, you greedy fat get. That's nasty, that is. Just because I had a zinger meal with two art wings and four bits of chicken and two of your Kansas bites. That's mean. I don't know what she's been like that for. Just plain nasty. What's she want me to do? Starve? 
bloody dragon. <laughs> so, Jackie, what's it like being an evil dragon? Go on, tell me. Amazing. <laughs> do you love do, do you love doing dragon dragon stuff? Dragon stuff. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Just being an old dragon, like, you know, you know, with fire coming out your nostrils and swinging your tail and flapping your wings and just the breath, the death breath and everything. So what's it like being a dragon? What are you saying about you, Daisy? Not Daisy, her mother. I'll give you her mother in a minute. We'll take the rubbish home rather than putting it in there, if you like. I can take it, put it all in there and I can take it over to the bin over there. Well, saves you, doesn't it? Saves we'd me. Get it out. We'll just take it home. Okay. Sorted. What about your straw? Oh, shit. <laughs> we bought these, didn't we? You they're idiot. Like, they're all reusable. Oh, my God. You are an idiot. <laughs> there, done. <clears throat> Let's have a look at your shirt. All right. Hey, I you saw got my, I saw my floor. Put you a new hoover for that. Find a new place for this hoover, Carl. You found a new place for our new, our new hoover for the van. So, oh, go on down. There's the gun. And then there's that bit. And then there's the bottom. Okay. Right. <clears throat> the sad thing is, I hoovered up here tested it out this morning you did and then you don't wipe your feet properly yes so you got my new carpet dirty you'll have to put that in the washing machine well when it dries you might over out if not I'll br it'll brush out better well so it was only four pound mm. odd what the carpet so <laughs> right, you're going to try your new Uber? So it's got little thingy here. Bring it over here then. Let's have a little look at it first. Shoot. So what makes it? It's a, oh my God, an Ologoster. Olg, Olguster. I did have a look on Amazon and it wasn't too expensive. I, how much was it, Jack? Can you remember? 80 odd quid. 80 odd quid, about 80 quid, something like that. I mean, like you got your Dysons and that, that are just stupid money. What are you doing down there? Right, Charlotte. and then, and then it's got a trigger, <clears throat> and then it's got a trigger there, and it's got a button there that does, oh, it's power levels. Do you want me to try the power level? Go on, then. We won't be able to hear me when I do it, so it's got that. Wait. And then that one. And another. Whoa. There we go. And it's got headlights on the front of it as well. You should turn this light off, actually. Turn the middle one off so when you come down the passage, and the other one, and the other one, yeah, go on. Just just go up the end and start coming towards me so we can see it. It'll look like close encounters of the third kind. I want to see how good those headlights are. Go on. Whee! That's doing the job, isn't it? Just move it down towards me. That's it. It's not bad, isn't it? We could take that on a walk in the dark and then you can see where you're going and clean the pavement at the same time. Well, I won't get it going for anything dirty. No. Make me feel sick. It would make you feel sick. Go on then, girl. Is any good? Well, it done a good job this morning. We've actually ordered a, a set of fitted carpets. So, uh, you know, we'll be able to use it a lot more. Oh, shit. What, you sucked up the rug? It's got a good sucker on it if it sucked yeah, up the end of the rug. But yeah, we've ordered a full set of fitted carpets. So once that come, they come, we'll sort of like use it a lot more. How are you doing? Is it getting that mud up? You can just press, that's it. And again, oh, you don't want it on full. There you go. It's getting that mud up, isn't it? Because it's dried now. Well, it's good as. Got some stubborn stains on that, Carl. 
he's all right. Stop whinging, woman. No. That's what I like to see, a woman doing some work. Cool like that. <laughs> is it cool to be an obnoxious <laughs> sexist pig? No. It's not cool to be an obnoxious sexist pig. But the only trouble is that... What? No, I can't get into some of the corners, you see. Yeah, but we, that's when you take it off and you do the nozzle. Oh. It comes with a nozzle, doesn't it? And I put my nozzle in my front pouch. This Uber, obviously it's 2.40 to charge it up, but we haven't got 2.40 in the, in the van. But it takes a little charger thing there. And what comes out of the um, power supply is 26 volts DC. Now, I'm wondering if you used a 12 volt DC, because you can buy them with the adapters for there, whether that would actually charge it. But it would just take longer to charge. We can still charge it when we're driving around, just save taking it indoors. So if anybody knows anything, that takes 26 volts DC. So if I got a 12 volt DC car charger, could I charge it up while I'm driving from the cigarette lighter just to save either taking it in and charging it or, um, you know, getting an inverter or a thousand pound power, power, what do they call them? What do they call them? Power pack. Power things. You know, power pack. I can't even think of what they call it. So you got your nozzles. The nozzles here, so. <laughs> Figure out. How to get it off. Hey, yeah. you've done it. Clever girl. I didn't think of that, you see. You look like a yeah. ghostbuster. Do 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 Go on then. Get him on there, bike. Yeah, well it's there, it's clipped and it's on, so I yeah, guess that so means it's a clip right, on. Go on then, girl. <laughs> Is that working? Because it's got a brush on it and you can Use the brush to get any crumbs out and then over it. Okay. If not, there's just a plastic nozzle that will get right into the I corners. Off, yeah. But if not, you just use the nozzle straight in the corner. That's weird, isn't it? Why? What's weird about it? No, I don't know where it's still on the floor. Let me have a look. Oh, it's fine. Obviously, it'd be better if you used the brush flat, not just on its end. Yeah, you need it flat, not just on its end. Oh. Right, change the nozzle. Look, if you want to get into the edges, well, just just shove that one on. You don't need to. Because I've you try that one. Out, didn't I? Try that one. Make sure you, that's it. There he is. And then you can get. And don't forget, it's got. You can increase. Don't forget, you can increase the power level. Just if you want to get it into the. In, there we go. He gets in all the corners there. There we go. There you go, girl. Be nice when we got the carpet. Definitely. When, well, that's what we bought it for, for the carpets mainly, yeah, wouldn't it? Good, isn't it? Oh, definitely. Lovely. Saves opening the door in the freezing cold like you normally do and sweeping it all out onto the street or the moors or the car park and losing all the heat in the van. Look how much it's picked up already, look. Where? Wow. See all well, that? Jesus. Look. All that what? Crap. Look at oh, that. that! Crap! That's brilliant. That's absolutely, and that's just today. You yeah. you gave it an Uber earlier, yeah. And that was some of that was in there from when you first Ubered it, and then that, that's a brilliant, isn't it? That is really brilliant, and I like that. And then, and the make of it is a funny old make. I'll see if I can get the picture up, and I'll shove it on there. Know how to get this thing off, you know. Well, you'll get there. Yeah, so basically, what you do to empty it, right? There's a little trigger there, little trigger there. You pull it up there, look, pull it up, yeah. and you take this little cassette thing off, mm -hmm. and then you do that. Oh, boing, That's that good. opens, yeah. and then you just empty it on top of all your KFC that. Wow. All your leftover KFC. A good little thing, isn't he? Look at that little... That is cute. I mean, I just like that little canister as it is. He's cute, isn't he? Yeah, he's brilliant. And then you put that one back on there. Some, some power, oh, I'm not much of a techno geezer, but there you go. Ah, oh, there we go. Look, straight on there. And you're ready to ghost bust again. 
It's quite good because the trigger's an on-off one. Yeah. See it? So it's, most of them, you've got to keep squeezing the trigger. But this one, you turn it on like that. You adjust the power level. Bop, yeah. Bop, bop. Right. Like that. And you turn it off. For, oh. You, oh, <laughs> that would be... Um, yeah, well, I probably didn't do it properly. Yeah. And once it's all clipped together with the pipes, then that would be fine. Right, there you go. This little lovely setting is where we had our tea tonight, where we had our KFC in a car park. There's the old KFC over there. Over there. That's all Marshmoons Roundabout, which is like the main roundabout in and out of Plymouth. Leading on to the A38, going to Salt Ash, going up to Exeter, heading towards Plymouth, heading towards the city centre. That's it. That's the old KFC. There's our William. Let's get back in, head back home. We got work tomorrow. You cleaning up in there, Jack? Yep, that's so pretty. Excellent. Right, let's head off. Head off home. Where are we go? Nice little spot down here. It's lovely. I like it. You know, little, what you want, just little industri industrial to say, oh, there's so no unauthorised parking. I don't know what they mean by unauthorised parking. It's an industrial estate or whatever they call it. And I was using the industry, KFC. So, you know, shoot me. <laughs> Shoot me if I'm wrong, but I was using, I can't fit into the KFB C pop um, spots there. I can't take this thing through the drive through because it's way too big. So I've got to park it somewhere or KFC dip out. Well, they wouldn't mind. Oh. Well, I hope they don't. Well, I don't really care It'd to be, be honest with you. <laughs> And then there's McDonald's up there as well. Wow, well, yeah, all right. Just please spend money. We can go in. and get McDonald's for afters now if you like. Get a McFlurry. back home, heading towards, like I say, Marshmills Roundabout. City Superstore, that'll do. I don't particularly need any fast lanes. It's still on green over there, so we're going to have a little wait here. We're going to have a little wait. Wait, wait. Oh, it's Amber, so there we go. He's going to be changing any minute now. Here we go. Let's get across here, just a ton of the next one. Come on, go to green please. Straight across really, nice, nice and easy. Nice and easy today. And we've got to head off back home in a minute and then when I come off this road and we get back onto Lara, I've got to remember it's that stupid 20 mile an hour limit which we all like. We don't call it Lara, do we, Carl? I call it Shitsville. Yeah. Welcome to Shitsville. <laughs> well, welcome to Shitsville in Shitslovenia. Shit SA. Or should I say Shit FA? <laughs> this is my face when I write funny. Shitsville. <laughs> Trying the old healthy eating lark for, for a little while until I get fed up with it, but rock it. Rock it with antipasti and olives, and I've got a nice omelette down here as well. So get it in there. I look like a rabbit. Alright. Well, I should burn it down.